in the Jewish tradition, we have a phrase, never again, never again, never again. And I do see enough similarities with the Holocaust that it's creeping up like this could happen again. You know, it's a personal thing for me because in my family, so many people died in Germany where they were from and, and other side of my family in Ukraine where they were from. There were political clues. There were things that were going in a really dangerous, violent direction. And uh, too many people were like, you know what? This guy's crazy. This person in charge is crazy. Um, it doesn't make any sense. It's not rational. So of course, like reason is going to carry the day. Everybody's going to be fine. Just stay in your homes. Keep going to work. Keep doing what you're used to doing. And you know what? This is our home. We're going to stay here. And those people are the ones that died or just disappeared and you know, we're never heard from again. And at that time in Germany, that's when there started to get more and more pressure to get rid of the Jews, basically. It just occurred as, um, we don't want them here, you know, they're not as good as the rest of us. swam from Germany across the river to France, met up with the French Resistance, which was helping the Jews to escape. He rode a bicycle across France out to the area where there were uh, cargo ships leaving to cross the Atlantic. He hit inside a barrel. He got close to the New York Harbor. Um, he got a signal, you know, like a tap on the barrel, and then he climbed out and then dove overboard off the ship and swam the rest of the way to Ellis Island. And that's how he got to the immigration point and, you know, made a life. Today's political climate, you know, trying to close down the borders for people who are desperate. Their lives are actually at stake. You know, that being said, it's causing me to look at, and I think for a lot of people, to look newly at old issues, you know? Immigration is not a new issue. For me, that's been a turning point where I was like, okay, I have to take action because I made a promise to myself when I was about eight years old, never again, like, not on my watch. Mm -hmm.